Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <clears throat> Hello everyone. This is Ben from Archetype Origins. Today, we're going to build another PC. So, let's go. Specs wise, we're going to be pairing a RTX 4080 from Gigabyte with a Ryzen 5 7600X. For motherboard, we're going to be using the Gigabyte Oros B650 Elite. Just in case you guys didn't know, NZXT launched a new lineup for their Kraken series. This is the NZXT Kraken Elite X, X53, I think. I don't think they call them x53 anymore well this is the elite rgb 32 gigabyte of corsair vengeance rgb pro 5600 megahertz 2 terabyte of ssd storage from a data for power supply we're going to be using the cooler master v850 80 plus go for sfx build we're actually building in a lee and lee oe 11 dynamic mini it has to be a sfx power supply that's why i chose this one we have our extension cable from Easy DIY and Asia Horse. I usually go with the Asia Horse extension cable, but they don't sell the 12 volt high power connector together as a bundle, so I have to buy them separately. The 24 pin, uh, I'm just gonna be using it from the Asia Horse and then the 12 volt high power from Easy DIY. Easy DIY RGB Moonlight pen. Uh, I'm gonna be using nine of this, three on the bottom as intake two on the side for the AIO as intake, three on the top as exhaust, and one at the back as exhaust. These fans are very nice for their price. Not only you get a remote if you don't want to mess with the RGB software, you can also connect it to the motherboard and just control the lighting using the motherboard software. And I'll link all this down in the description below so you guys can check them out if you guys are interested in getting some for yourself. Without further ado, Let's get this build started. So here's the final result. I really like how it turned out. It looks awesome. I wish all the manufacturer would do what Gigabyte is doing here, providing a mounting bracket. This specific model, the Gigabyte Eagle OC RTX 4080, it comes with a mounting bracket 
and it mounts directly onto the motherboard with two mounting screws and three on the graphics card so the graphics card won't sag at all if you like kind of wiggle a little bit it's not like it's not going anywhere i have shipped multiple pc with this specific graphics card before and it is it's sturdy it's uh it's not gonna cost you any issue at all so this is one thing i really like about this so we don't have to get an extra nd sec bracket just to you know put a little thing here i i personally think i don't i don't really like it it's, so something like this is pretty clean and it just uh keeps all the clutter in the pc away and just have one sim simple brackets that keep the gpu in place right here for the nzxt aio i really like the newer version because now you can apply gif underneath your dual infographic where uh, in the older version you can only do either the dual infographic or the gif itself so right, it's, not, it's a very good combination if you want to be able to monitor your temps and also look at the gif so this is something you guys definitely might want to look into uh, when it comes to upgrading your aio the nzxt is definitely a good option here this pc is actually on sale for our website if you want to check it out you can click here or check out the link in the description below i will link it down there we can always build according to your budget aesthetic needs and performance needs so it doesn't have to be anything specific like this this is just one of our uh, custom build check out our website for ready to ship pcs or contact me for a custom build experience all right thank you guys for watching if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe and comment down below and let us know what you think about this PC. If there's anything that you don't like or anything that you recommend putting in here instead, let us know. Without further ado, let's get the build started.